In this week's Journey to Greatness, we hear from one of the best cornerbacks of all time. In 2019, Champ Bailey received his gold jacket from the Pro Football Hall of Fame, but the honors still keep coming in for Bailey. In 2022, he was selected to the College Football Hall of Fame for his tremendous career with the Georgia Bulldogs. It means a lot to be in the College Football Hall of Fame. You know, I, I think about my college days. I did so much in college, you know, just work a lot of plays, you know, and, you know, I did exactly what my coach said he would let me do. And, you know, to be able to reflect and, and have some kind of validation, you know, being in the College Football Hall of Fame of the work I put in, it means everything. He played three seasons in Athens where he was a triple threat, contributing on offense, defense, and special teams. It became clear in his junior year in 1998, though, that defense was his future. That season, he was a consensus All-American at cornerback. Bailey grew up in Folkston, Georgia, a town that only had about 2,000 residents at the time. Sports seemed to be the best way for Champ and his brothers to find success outside their small hometown. Fortunately, they were all pretty talented, and they had each other for inspiration along the way. You know, my older brother, Ron, I mean, he set the tone because he did everything in high school, and I wanted to do everything he did. He went to Georgia, I did too. You know, he played corner, I did too. So I, I follow his footsteps, and, you know, it was my younger brother who was a little bigger than both of us, and I always felt like he was just going to be better because he was so much bigger. But we pushed each other, and I knew that he was watching everything I did the same way I watched my older brother. That just was motivation in itself. After his time at Georgia, Champ was selected seventh overall by Washington in the 1999 NFL Draft, and that was the beginning of an amazing professional career. In 15 seasons, most of them with the Denver Broncos, he was selected to 12 Pro Bowls, more than any defensive back in history. He led the league in interceptions in 2006, and he picked off 52 passes in his career. At six feet tall and about 190 pounds, he was never the biggest player on the field, but that never stopped him from being physical and impacting a game. I learned to love it. I didn't really like it at first. You know, I, I think any smaller guy, you try to stay out of the contact. You know, everybody on the field is bigger than me. So hitting people shouldn't be something I relish, right? But what I do relish is accountability. So if my job is to go out there, cover the best receiver, tackle whoever has the ball, I got to do it. I can't go back to the film room and put the tape on and I'm not tackling. I just would not do that to myself and my teammates. I approach every game like that. That's the, that's the one thing about the NFL. You can't approach the game like, oh, this week I got to turn it on. Like, every week you can get embarrassed. I, I mean, we let the Raiders come and beat us with a bunch of no names, you know, blow us out several times. <laughs> Was I supposed to not get up for that game because they didn't have any big time players? No, they didn't have any future Hall of Famers, but <laughs> but I, got, I had to get up for that game because they'll embarrass you. Now that Champ is a member of more than one Hall of Fame, fans have more ways to admire all of his past accomplishments. But the opinions that matter most to Bailey are those of his former teammates. That guy gave it all. He was tough. He was one of the best. It's really about my teammates, what they think. I don't really care what anybody else thinks. If my boys say I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.